Before lighting your St. Croix stove for the first time, carefully clean all marks, stains, and fingerprints off the gold plating using a soft cloth and a gentle window cleaner to prevent them from becoming permanent. Never use an abrasive cleaner on any plated or painted parts of the stove. Next, fill the hopper with an approved fuel, making sure to shut the lid completely once it's full. The fuel is fed from the hopper to the burn pot using an auger driven by a high torque motor. Keep fingers and other objects away from the auger to avoid the possibility of serious harm or injury. As an added safety feature, the auger will not operate when the hopper lid is open. Once the hopper is filled, close the ash pan door. It must be in the latched position during normal operation. Also, be sure the coal rake is pulled out and the slide out bottom is pushed in. Now, add exactly one cup of wood pellets to the burn pot. Use pellets for lighting regardless of the fuel type you intend to burn, as other fuels can be difficult to start. Add a generous amount of starter gel to the pellets. For an optional extra boost, you can crumple half a newspaper page, light the gel coated pellets, and toss the paper into the burn pot. To light the stove, close the fire door and then simply push the on-off button on the control board. The startup program takes it from there, but you'll want to monitor the burn pot to make sure the stove starts up properly. The startup program typically takes about three to four minutes to run. During this time, there may be some smoke in the firebox before the flame appears. This is normal. After five minutes, the control board automatically checks for proof of fire and starts feeding fuel into the burn pot. If it fails to sense the proof of fire, the stove will continue feeding fuel at a low setting for another five minutes and check again. If the control board fails to get a fire indication a second time, it will go into safety shutdown and the third LED light will begin to flash. If this happens, check that all doors are latched, the hopper has fuel, and the coal rake is pulled out and the slide out bottom is pushed in. Then repeat the steps of lighting the stove. If any other lights are flashing, check the diagnostic section of this video or refer to your owner's manual. Never, under any circumstances, add fire starter to a hot stove.